What's up, everybody? It's Michael R. Penguin on Subo 7 here today for another video. I'm here today with my boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Devin. Glad to see y'all. We just yeah. came back from AX. Yeah, if you didn't know uh, what we've been doing for the last uh, four days, we've been at AX, so, you know, haven't had much time to be online and posting. Get up at early at 6 and get home at like 10 or 12 at this point. It was so Anime Expo 2023, we went last year, so this is our second AX, or the fourth convention we've been to, besides that other Genshin night that I went with Nither. Um, overall, it was a great time. It was better than last year. It was better than last year. Crowds better. are bigger, though. Crowd was better, but it keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, the lines the first day were... S we got there at, uh, I'd say, 10... And it took us an hour and a half to park. And then it took another hour and a half to get into the convention. So by the time we got in, it was like an hour, two hours past. And what did we do the first day? Honestly, I think we just looked around. We went to the vendor hall. We went to... Um, Our Sally. We didn't go to Our Sally. We got those yeah, we did. Well, we did, but we went to those limited edition figures first. Uh, yeah, we, so. yeah, we... Oh, no, no, that's what we did. Yeah, yeah. So we were with our friends Liz and Zach. And Zach had to go due to complications with work. Um, but we went to a the Bandai Namco booth and we got a bunch of figures, the exclusive like one piece figures, which cost like four hundred bucks. But they you were know pretty cool. I got like a Shanks. You should do a show showing later. Yeah. I usually do show off what I got. I'll probably do that a lot of side. No, no, I'll probably do that with this and just merge them on like iMovie or some shit. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Um there's the Shanks Uda figure, a Luffy figure, and a... Palscar Yamato figure. Yamato, the one that you got. Um, the I'd say there's a lot more figure vendors this year. Comparably. Than, uh, about a third of the uh, vendor hall ended up actually being selling figures, as opposed to last year, which was more stickers. Well, there's not a lot of stickers. Well, there, wasn't last that year. Many st there wasn't that many stickers, but there's a lot more other, other stuff, random stuff. Uh, Artist Alley was, you know, Artist Alley. It was a little bit... Maybe it's because it's the second year that it felt a little bit weaker this year, but... I mean, there was artists that did seasonal art, and then there was uh, some AI-generated art, which was interesting. Um, I didn't see it, but... There was a few. There was a few. We were carrying around massive bags the entire time. Well, that was for the first day. The first day, we carried around first big day, bags. First day. Uh, then, second day, we went to... Was it... Was it, that wasn't the panel. We didn't do much panel. We did shopping on second day. Too. We did. We did panel on second day. Oh uh, yeah. We did one panel this 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 year, or this this AX, but I think we did some shopping. Not a lot of shopping though. No, most of it was done the first day because you yeah. know first day is the best day to shop, just to get your availability on items, and then if you want maybe some bargain bin shopping on the last day. No, second day the highlight was the panel we went to. Actually, we were with Ben. We were with Ben the second day. No, I think it was the third day, no? No, it was second day. Second day? Hmm. Because the third day, he, you texted him saying that, sorry, we didn't make it up. Yeah. Yeah. And we were with my, my buddy Ben, who was in early, early videos. He was my best friend from high school. He was there. It was funny because I hadn't seen him in six months. Um, but yeah, the panel we went to was a Family Feud style, uh... The Family Feud style version of, a uh, uh, Weeb game. <laughs> we, well, it, well, it's Family Feud style, but in anime. And it was broken up into three rounds. Two out of three rounds were Weeb Nodge. Again, the way it works is based on surveying and what people's common answers are. So the goal is to think how other people think. And the more correct your answer is, or more it's like other people's, the more points you're going to get. But the catch was what? What was the, the normie catch? points? The normie ones were double points, so it doesn't make the other two rounds obsolete. Right. So there was a normie round, which is supposed to be the round so that people who are not in the anime culture wouldn't get it. But the rounds were worth double the points, invalidating how much they were actually. Yeah, we had some. There were some. There was like th some was answers interviews were thirty-year-old weeps, and some of them were. I. Just, I think the biggest one that uh, irked us was that there was. Songs cut, you karaoke would do songs. karaoke to. Mind and you, these in third year. No one got any of them except for one of them. It was so funny, and we were with we were with these two guys that we were in sitting in the line with, 
in the team of five. We were like, if we were up there, we would have slammed out everyone. And the guys in front of us were just were having a, just a great time. They, they bought like a whole box of wine, and there's one guy drunk off his mind. Bro, almost hit someone with a bottle. He did hit somebody. He tossed it up in the air, hit someone in the back of the head. <laughs> I'm like, bro, lay off the wine, man. Yeah, but anyway, some of the answers were that the most popular songs were uh, what. I know. I remember it was Don't Stop Believing. Don't Stop Believing was number three by Germany. Let It Go. Let It Go was second. Um, Piano Man. And, and Wannabe. Wannabe. We don't remember number one because remember. it was too, too bullshit was to too answer. It was too like, what? what were, too bullshit to answer. The other uh, ones were Animals That Begin With the R, which is another one, army one. St no, no, states that are over 100 degrees was, was another one so that was, annoying because Texas was on on there. And Nevada was on there. I'm like, I'm gonna send your asses to fucking Vegas. And you'll see how yeah. you like it. I mean, bro, it's literally desert. Arizona wasn't number one. It was like, Arizona gets easily temperatures over 110 degrees. Florida was one. Like, it's more humid there than right. hot. All right, that's true. Yeah. So some of the answers were, were not not up to par. Some of them were a little bit more interesting, like uh, anima animes you wanted to be isekai into. That one oh, was a cool. good panel. Um, right. th that one was... Um, I think what was number one was Naruto. Pokemon. Piece. Pokemon. There was Naruto and there was One Piece. I forget about the other two of them, but um, some of them were pretty good. Uh, My Hero. My Hero was another one. Yeah. Even though you'd have your city destroyed like every other week. Hopefully you don't die to, you know. But maybe having the ability to have a quirk might make it worthwhile. But as for that, that was a pretty good one. Um, this was all on the same panel, by the yeah. way. So that was, we went to no panels last year, so we went to one panel this year, which made hundred percent increase. Or infinite, infinite percent increase in, because because it's um thousand you know a million times more than what we did last time. And the third day, it was me and Devin. Liz showed up later, and we did uh, more shopping. <laughs> yeah, Sonny was with us too, but he was with us. Jesus. Get the lights back on, man. It's your car. I don't know what to do. Ah. Turn it on. Light saving feature. Ooh, it's all dark now. Nice. Eh. There we go. Oh, there we go. All right, much better. Turn it off. Turn it off. Leave it off. All right, all right. I don't know how this thing works. Car. Anyways. So the third day, the major highlight, well, we wanted to go to the Lewd Tubers podcast or the panel at nine o'clock um, in the JW Marriott. We went, we will. Well, something happened before that. Yeah. What happened before so that? So we were going to go to the One Piece, uh, the live action showing, which we can't say because we went, we signed an NDA for that. But we saw some clips that are going to be clips. Uh, of the upcoming show, and it looks pretty. The fuck! The car is just trying to fuck over the video. <laughs> I think that's a you issue. It's that's you. not a you me issue. Hey, the lights, the music. What else is there? Anyways, so we we went at ten o'clock to get the QR code, and later uh, it finally happened. So we were just walking around the vendor hall. And we, f there was the V Shoujo thing, and we were there. Some guy had a random ticket, and he's like, "Oh, you guys here?" Shout for out the to random guy. Shout out to random. We guy. love you. And he asked us if you wanted a ticket to uh, the the Henya mean greet. And Henya's well, well, you know, formerly Pikami is one of my favorite VTubers of all time. So you needed a ticket. So I got the well, ticket. Well, you needed a ticket in order to do the meet and greet, but you're guaranteed to do it. It was, you know. You're supposed to take 30 seconds to do it, but I probably took it. Yeah. Well, well, we're back. You know, we had a friend call, so it interrupted the video. But um, back to the Henny Mean Greet. So I got the random ticket. And so we we went. Well, I went in the line. And then we got the text to go back for the One Piece showing that we waited all day for. Literally, from 10, 10 a.m. is when we registered <laughs> like for the five. event. And we just... Had our seats open and available to go into queue into the line at 5 p.m. And I'm like, nah, I, 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 this is way too important for the Henya thing. So I asked bro, bro, do you want, what do you want to do? Bro just made the decision to go to Henya line and go to the meet and greet. So he went to the one piece showing by himself. 
But I did get to meet Henya and um, talk to her. I probably will have the the clip the video, up yeah. eventually. Um, that was cool. Uh, she was very nice. I felt really awkward. Yeah, bro, forgot everything he was gonna say and what his <laughs> name what his name to was too. <laughs> I was talking to people in the lines. <laughs> I was, I was, I was like, shit, it's my turn already. <laughs> Anyways, that was probably the highlight of my trip because Henny was one of my favorite, you know, uh, VTubers. Uh, unfortunately, though, we got to the Marriott three hours in advance and it was full. So, but I mean, I think it was full like five hours in advance. So maybe it wouldn't have worked out either way. Hopefully, and that's what I'm. Thank well, you. we were going to do another panel, but it was been with Project Melody, Cottontail, and Victoria, and then some other uh, VTuber. But I would have been talking about them, streaming we'll probably, on a blue Twitch. We'll probably catch, like, the VOD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hope was to be able to see it in person. Um, next year. Next. Well, if they, if they do a panel next year. They will. They did a panel last year. They, they did? Yes, they did. Huh. Didn't know that. Anyway. We're going to go to Anime Impulse again this Fourth year. Day. Today. Fourth day was almost didn't happen. Almost. Sometimes you have those mornings where you question why someone birthed you. Anyway. And then somebody woke up on the wrong side someone of the bed. Someone chose violence today. And someone almost forgot their wallet. And then told me to go by myself. And I found the wallet. And so everything works out in the end. And then they forget the lanyard. <laughs> in the car, but we didn't park that far away this time. And there was no lines today because it was 4th of July. And it's dead as hell. And it worked out. We met up with Sonny again. My boy Aaron never... I don't know where the hell he went. Bro, I never bro, saw him. Bro was working today. Bro was working today, but I never saw him at the convention. Um, but overall, we did... You know, finished up our shopping, went to the 18 plus section, got some dojins. Um, what else did we do today? That's pretty much it. We went shopping more. We always went more shopping. Yeah, Artist Alley I think I spent about 1800 this time around. Including tickets and gas, so. Tickets, gas, food. It's a lot of money. Oh yeah, we tried chicken and waffles last night. At Roscoe's. And <laughs> that was funny. That was pretty good. It was a random mood because we want, bro wanted chicken. Do we see any good? Uh, the cosplays were kind of weak this year. Um, there was some some strong one, but as overall, there were not a lot of people in good cosplays this year. Yeah, but it was fun. So we had a better time than last year where we didn't go to any panels. Um, so I think any any last uh, impressions or anything you'd like to bring up? Don't go to the first day of AX unless there's a really good no, reason. Go to the first day of AX. Get there early, though. Yeah, go there really early. If you think two hours is enough time, depending on where you live, maybe add an hour. And if you have anxiety or don't do well the crowds, do not go to AX. AX is not the place for you to go. It's not. But it's not saying that you shouldn't go to cons. Go to somewhere where, like, Anime Impulse, which is a lot smaller, easier crowds, you're going to have a better time. Because the Anime Impulse is the biggest U.S. meet and greet for anime. You're going to be expecting a lot of crowds. This was the first year it sold out. I had more than 70,000 people attending. That's a lot of people. So just, you know, know the facts. Do your research. Stay hydrated. Especially stay, stay hydrated. hydrated. Oh, yeah. And then I got to show up my bottle when I get home. I'll show you. I'll have another clip. The Waifu water bottle. And then this is going to wrap up our... Uh, our 2023 yearly AX. AX, our yearly yearly AX review. So we'll see you guys next in the time. next video. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's been a couple days, but I'm gonna show you what I've obtained from AX. So I got a white beard and Roger figure. I got you know two little guys. I got the straw hat from the live action I saw. The Naruto figure, Goku on the Nimbus, uh, from uh, bow up. I got the Gura, I got the Uta, and the Shanks version. I got the AX pin, the shirt, uh, Misery and Boa, the chain. I got the the Luffy thing from the card game, uh, Rimuru, you know, Shy Lily sticker, of course. 
the Genshin pins in Danganronpa. Uh, this one's my one of my personal favorites. Um, I got the exclusive pack from the thing as well. Got this cool ass Zoro poster. Of course, I can't forget about you know Gear Four Luffy and Yamato and Dofi. I've got the Mashal poster. It was like the last one. It was pretty cool. And I got the uh, Konosuba gang. There's one more in here. Oh, yeah. The Chainsaw Man boys. This one looks sick as hell. And then for a bunch of other the posters I got, I got, you know, my Shia Lily. Project Melody, Miku, and I have Ai Hoshino from Hoshino Ko. So yeah, so this is the extent of my collection I got. I also did get a Dojin, but you know, I can't show that on here. So anyways, guys, you know, thank you guys for watching this video, and we will see you all in the next one. Bye. I got one last thing, is I got my Hydro Flask. which now I'm going to use everywhere. So that's it.